What is up, guys? Welcome back. So today we are jumping into a another video. This is actually an informative video on Monster Fight Club's uh, board game that is coming out. So they gave us an update, and I wanted to give you guys that same update because I'm very excited for this board game that's coming out. I was involved with the Kickstarter. I supported the Kickstarter, and I'm just I've been waiting for months for this to release because I want the miniatures in this box so and I'm getting all these extra miniatures because you had to hit certain tiers to get you know exclusive miniatures for doing the Kickstarter and I'm really excited for this because I wanted to use these miniatures in Nerdvana games bunkers and badasses so of course that came with miniatures I just did a video uh, I think last week on painting those miniatures and um a lot of people really did like those miniatures on Instagram, so um, I'm on a roll this week. Like this is, I feel good this week. I um, I got three uploads this week. I did a uh, I did a gameplay stream, so that is really good. I want to get back into streaming. Uh, I did it for the first time on the PS5, and it went pretty smooth. So I'm gonna get back into that. I need to finish the Axton UVHM, so I'm going to do that. Um, so let's, let's hope to get a lot of those in. And then, um, I want to do, um, well, I did a Roland action figure because I wanted a Roland action figure, so I made one. So that's the last video. So if you want to check out that, that is, you know, the last video in my, uh, feed. And now it's this. So let's jump into the information that we got from Monster Fight Club. So over here on Kickstarter, we got our update for Borderlands and Mr. Tori's Arena of Badassery. Now this is the game that is being made by Monster Fight Club. And right here you can see Borderlands Arena of Badassery. And if you missed the campaign, follow us for retail release news on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And right here you can see like a layout of the game. Now this game looks pretty cool. I think... I think I will eventually play the actual game, but the goal for me getting this was to get all of the miniatures for Bunkers. That way I have a bunch of Borderlands miniatures that I can use in Bunkers and Badasses, because you get a lot of different, you get a lot of the same characters with this, but you and, but they're different molds and different sculpts, so that's good, so you have different sculpts. Um, I think they're a little bit upscaled, which is very good, because uh, the ones that came with Bunkers and Badasses are very small. Um, and the you, of course you get like a lot of the stuff like you get Moses um robot you get all of the stuff that comes with the character um ability wise with this game too and i think that is amazing we'll get into that though so join Mr. Torque for carnage mayhem loot and explosions in the cooperative board game and you can visit their website right there monster fight club there was 9926 backers pledged 1,979,056 to help bring this project to life. That is amazing, and I'm glad that I was a part of the backers to support this game, especially with me being such a huge Borderlands fan. So second round of production minis received. So they had a first round. We did hear some of this on Instagram. Um, but I just pulled this up so I can give you guys an update on this because I need to really update you guys on this. Um, especially for those of you that love Bunkers and Badasses, this is a item that you might want to use for that specific game. I don't care what Steve says about you. You people are the best bag of badass vault hunters a promoter could have to work with. On such short notice, at least. You might be wondering, what could they possibly be updating us about now? Didn't they just update us with a bunch of pics of the production mini samples and factory sent them? Yes, you are absolutely correct. We did, and we were wondering how we could possibly top such a freaking epic display. Well, how about with even more pictures of another shipment of example or samples we got in since then? So first off, we've got a group of uh, a group shot of a bunch of vault hunters. Some that are in the box of badasses, and others that come in the core box. So here you can see, uh, you got Mordecai, uh, you got Flax Guard, 
Skag. You got Roland Scorpio Turret, which is awesome. I'm so glad to get that. Uh, Mr. Tori himself. And it looks like you got Zero. You got Brick, Zero, Roland, Moe's, Death Trap, uh, Gage's Companion, which is awesome, because... Um, I have a Mechromancer in my Bunkers and Badasses crew, and he has the option to use an actual Death Trap. He has his own, uh, Death Trap that he's using, uh, right now, but since we didn't have a model, um, that, I mean, he just, he just did that. But he might like to use this, so I'm giving him the option there. I'm gonna paint it up and make it really nice for him. And Salvador in the end, which is a different sculpt, of course. These are all different sculpts than we got with Bunkers, so it's amazing. Next, we have some more Vault Hunters and some Companions, too. So, right there, you got Claptrap, which, uh, I think that's, like, a playable Claptrap. So, let's see what we can do with that in Bunkers. Um, you got Tiny Tina, which is in the front there. You got Amara in the back. Um, Axon, Saber Turn, Jabber, Sidekick for Flax Companion. Uh, Piston from Batasaurus. A uh, badass, bad badassosaurus, <laughs> um, and spider ants, uh, center on. Now, uh, flax companion, Nisha. Uh, another claptrap, and Tina, tiny Tina is all grown up. So you got the young Tina, and you have the older Tina, and I think that is very cool that they did that. I think that you have the option to be the really crazy insane young tina or the really cool kind of chill a little bit chill back uh tiny tina as an adult um i love her as a kid and i think i would be using the kid model a lot in my um bunkers but we'll have to see we'll have to see what what happens so how about some more vault hunters <laughs> coming right up so right here it looks like they're showing another death uh, this maybe that, it looks like the same death trap model there. So you got Axton, Mad Moxie, which is fucking amazing. I'm so glad that they have a Mad Moxie in this. Uh, Bloodwing, which is also very cool to have, um, which is Mordecai's companion. You got Flack right there in the front. You got Gage in the middle there, um, which kind of that Gage kind of looks kind of like the Gage that we got in Bunkers. Um, but we'll have to see how the, how the detail is, because the detail might be really on point. And then, you got, uh, Death Trap, obviously, Gage's Companion in the back. Uh, Wilhelm, so you got Wilhelm, and then you had Tiny Tina, Butt Stallion, STNL, Zane's Companion, Zane, and Moxie. So you got two Moxies here. Two Moxies, that's the fucking shit. I, I love that. There are some characters in here that are two models, and I think that's fucking awesome. Plus, Buttstein's a badass. So, one of the coolest combos in the core box, Moe's and her Iron Bear. So, look at this. That Iron Bear is a fucking beast, and I cannot, I cannot wait to work on these miniatures. Like, I'm so fucking excited. And I don't know how I'm going to do this, because I don't know how big their bases are. So... Because I want to not have to do what I did with the Bunkers and Badasses miniatures and have to peel them off of these bases. I want to use their bases and just build onto them. So basically just add terrain and stuff. Well, not terrain, but like, you know, base your the bases for your miniatures. So hopefully these bases are big enough that I can do some really cool things with them. Because, I mean, I mean look at this shit. It's amazing. I love this. Um... Damn, like, like, look at that Iron Bear. That's a bad bitch. Like, I can't wait. I just can't wait to get my hands on this. And let's face it, the glorious Butt Stallion deserves to be front and center in at least one shot. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not. I think I showed you guys in that, that video of me painting the Bunkers miniatures. But I made a Butt Stallion myself. Um, I kit bashed one out of a unicorn that I got, and I think it turned out really, really good, but this is fucking butt stallion. Like, you can tell that this is made out of diamond. Like, she is cut perfectly as she, like, she has, since she's a diamond pony, like, 
she has the edges on her like she is made of diamond. And this is what makes this model like the shit. And this time I'm going to probably prime this one white and then put that sparkly uh, kind of like glue paint over that to give it that diamond look. I am very excited to have another butt stein. It's going to be amazing having another butt stein, especially one that is sculpted for butt stein. Below, we see Moe's squaring off against the Psycho Reaver all by her lonesome. Not recommended, by the way. So look at that Psycho Reaver. That's pretty cool. It would be very nice to put that in my bunker story, like just throw a badass fucking Psycho Reaver in there and let them guys fight it. That is amazing. In the next pick, Mr. Torg is trying to get Thanksgiving dinner going single-handedly. Also not recommended. While the ravenous Waddle Gobbler uh, seeks to protect one of its goblets. And I apologize if you hear Harley in the background. Because she's running around the room and acting stupid. So, get up in the bed, Harley. Cool. You need to stop. Um, so, yeah, look at these. Look at the Waddle. I don't know if I'm getting the Waddle Gobbler at all. I can't remember if I if I got that or not. I know that I supported it, and I know that I got... I didn't get the highest tier, so I don't know what... Um, Because this was my first Kickstarter, so we're just going to have to see. But if it's going to retail, and they do these as a add-on, of course I'm going to pick them up. Obviously, I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to get all the miniatures if they come to retail. So here are a few more cool picks. Right here, which is, I think this is really cool. So you get Zane's Digi Clone, one of Timothy Lawrence's two Digi Clones, um, and then you get uh, Zane's Barrier and the Divide Divine Wind Claptrap, and the other Timothy Lawrence Digi Clone. So, so like you have like really cool ass options. I love the fact that you have Digi Clones in this. Like, all I have to do is base that, and it's done. Like, that's the point of a Digi Clone. It's supposed to be, like, fluorescent, like, blue. Like, that's... The, they're fucking done. These miniatures are done, except for Claptrap. But, yeah, that's cool as shit. All of those Vault Hunters need more bad guys to run down in the arena, so beware. And look at these bad, bad guys. Like, that's pretty fucking dope. Like, that's dope. So you got Psycho Pose 3, right? So you have different Psychos with different poses, which is awesome. You got um, Bruiser um, from Best Minion Ever. Uh, Psycho Pose 2 in the front. You got Alternate uh, Mordor Pose in the back. You got, uh, um, Captain Flint, which is really cool to have a Captain Flint miniature. Um, and then that's from Best Minion Ever. Uh, Shielded Nomad, Nomad, and Suicide Psycho. So the Nomad and Shield, uh, Shielded Nomad deserve their own close-up too. Awesome. Which, that is pretty cool. Because I think the Shielded one, does that have midgets strapped to that? I love when they had, like, the midgets strapped to the, um, to the, like, the Psycho Midgets. I loved when they had them, um, strapped to their shields. Like, that's so fun and so creative. We also received more classic samples of the terrain. So here's the terrain. You got, like, a... You got a porta pot. You got um, your like I get I guess a new station I guess or like the save spot. Um, you, of course you got your your chests like that's awesome too. You got chests and crates, piles of stuff like that's the rack thing or uh, or them uh, them flying fucking creatures. What the hell are they? Um, I think they're rats, ain't they? Maybe not, but they have those the hives. You even got a fucking mailbox. That's amazing. So you got a mailbox, road sign, you got a loot chest, tire, uh, middle, um, new U station, skag vomit, portable toilet, <laughs> um, ammo chest, waddle goblet, uh, road sign too, and you have the hive spire, so that, yeah, the hive. And here's some more close-ups on that, which are really cool. Um, God, I can't wait to see, uh, how these are painted up. Like, I like the whole, like, the... Just the, um, the vending machines and shit. Like, that's so fucking cool. Like, that's epic. And last, but definitely not least, the total freaking epic Batasaurus. Now, I know that I did not get this. Because I think you had to get the highest tier for this. Um, did I want it? Yeah. But I didn't think I wanted to drop as much money into this as possible. 
because it was my first Kickstarter and I didn't know exactly how everything really worked on Kickstarter. And I know that if something didn't go through, you kind of lost your money. So I just, since it being my first Kickstarter, I did it this way. And hopefully we get to see these as expansions in the future that are in stores because I would love to buy this as an expansion. God, this would be amazing to just have in bunkers and badass. Be, my players would be like, what the fuck? I, I, it's amazing. I, I can't wait for this shit. So in case you missed it in the last update, um, you can click the link below for the complete rule book. So you can download the rule book now. Um, start reading and familiarizing uh, yourself with it as soon as possible. So you'll be ready to get your game on as soon as the pledge arrives. Which is cool. I like that they did that. I like the fact that you can literally just read the rule book right now and when it comes out you could just jump right onto the table and play that is amazing i love that they did that that is something that is very cool i wish bunkers and badasses did that because we had a very long time before it actually um came out you know the pre-orders actually started showing up so this is actually really it's actually really cool so if you are interested in the arena of badassery specifically playing that Go ahead, download the rule book. I'm probably going to download that uh, and read it myself because, you know, it would be nice to play some Arena Badassery um, in the meantime of in between Bunkers and Badasses games or just if we just don't feel like playing a RPG type of tabletop game, we, just, we could just do it this way. So that's about it for the update this month. Of course, we wanted to share these picks with you, but we also want to get back on the end of the month schedule. So thanks so much for your support, Vault Hunters. We'll, uh, we'll see you again near the end of February for another update. So that is good. And that is from the Monster Fight Club team. P.S. You can also follow the link in the image below to join our Discord channel. We are committing to engaging more with our community there. And we will be active there than we, uh, there than we have been in the past. So click on the on through and we'll hope to see you real soon. So they have their Discord right there and you'll be able to join that so yeah guys that is it so i hope that this gave you guys some more information on uh the the arena of badassery and its release because i think we are getting it very soon um not next month but i think that we are getting this soon like we've waited a long time for this to release and um I am very excited for these miniatures. Like, I am so fucking excited for these miniatures. Like, you guys know how much miniatures... If you followed my channel, you know how many miniatures I have. And it's all for bunkers and badasses. And I just... I cannot wait for this to come through. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys uh, supported the Kickstarter. Or you were just interested in it. Or you're just excited for this to come out in general. Um, also, stay tuned for more... Um, streams so i'll be doing some borderlands 2 streams and hopefully some borderlands 1 streams and borderlands uh 3 and just just everything i'm going to try to stream everything now that i got everything working pretty good so hopefully that all comes together um very soon um remember to leave this video a huge like and subscribe if you haven't already it really does help the channel a lot um when you guys hit that subscribe um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.